Ladies and gentlemen, this is the trending mountain bike products of for the month of April. April. 2023, yeah. the most popular top selling mountain bike products as usual presented by us on a monthly basis. We're gonna talk about products and bikes and some other fun stuff. Let's go. Wow. First, definitely not last, it's our Galfer brake pads, the pro compound for code brakes. Yeah, Galfer is a iconic brand in the motorsports industry, and they are inching their way into the mountain bike world with rotors and brake pads. And it's some seriously impressive stuff that's worth checking out. They're making brake pads for various different brake models and rotors that fit on all types of brakes. And yeah, if you're looking to upgrade your brakes or just curious what Galfer's doing, or if you're in the motorsports world and you realize how much weight that brand name carries, check out what they're doing on the mountain bike side. It's pretty impressive. We've had it now for, I think over a year and it's just like slowly trickling as people realize how good it is and tell their friends and the world of word of mouth spreads. And yeah, now it's a top selling brake pad for us for the SRAM code brakes. So I'm, yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, good bang for your buck. Second up is the SRAM Eagle T-Type Flat Top Master Link, or as they call power lock. power lock connector link. Power lock link. Power lock link. The reason this is a top selling product is because T-Type, the new SRAM transmission drivetrain that was released last month, has blown up in popularity and a ton of those have sold and a lot of people now need to get the master link. <laughs> This this is don't knock that water bottle over. This is this is Liam's bike. This is the one I crashed. This right? is the one you crashed. I crashed this bike into Jared. Oh, f oh. This is the new drivetrain. We have a standalone video on this. So to a bunch of people, it was big news because it's SRAM, it's a new drivetrain. And if you bought that drivetrain, uh, you do need one of these for the power link. We haven't, they, they say it's T-type chains only, and we haven't really tested this on the old 12 speed chains, but SRAM says no, but SRAM's also said no here and there over the past and. <laughs> If you bought a T-type drivetrain, the right and smart thing to do is to buy yourself a master link to keep on your bike and or your hydration pack, whatever, in case you happen to break the chain out on a ride, this is how you solve that problem. Um, so yeah, that's what this is for. T-type drivetrains, by the way, top selling kits, the XO T-type with the 170 mil crank, the XX T-type with the 170 mil crank, uh, both of those with 32 tooth rings, and then the XX T-type e-bike, uh, yeah, there yeah. you go. Those are the top selling kits for the SRAM T-Type stuff. If you're interested, it is pretty interesting. We won't tell you all about it right now. Just watch the video if you're curious. Yeah. And up next, we have got the Enduro Max bearing the 6902. Uh, this is a very popular bearing for suspension pivots. Actually, the Enduro Max bearing is specifically designed for suspension pivots. Um, so obviously a lot of people are refreshing their bikes for the season, getting them dialed, and you really want your suspension action working smoothly with fresh bearings. Yeah, that's a common thing a lot of people do in the winter time and or the spring time when riding season comes about if they're a little bit last minute. Uh, they replace various bearings in their suspension system and or their hubs. Enduro and DT Swiss make a ton of bearings so you can replace that stuff. We sell all of those and they're trending right now because it's April and people are getting their bike ready for the season. It is very important that you're extremely cautious, careful, and well qualified to remove and reinstall bearings into your frame and or suspension links and or hubs. But yeah, we saw all the bearings for that. 6902 is a really popular one, so there you go. There you go. That's why that's on the list. That's why that's and on the list. the Wolf Tooth Remote. Remote. So this has been one of my favorite dropper post levers ever. I just think it's really well made. It feels really good the way it sits underneath the grip. Um, it's awesome. They made it in a regular and a light action. The this light, is the light action. That's the light action. Mm -hmm. Still a top selling product. If you've got a dropper post and you want to upgrade that lever or you broke your lever, this is an amazing choice. Mm -hmm. And importantly, they did just release a pro version. Ooh. The pro version released on 420, dude. Oh. Oh. You'll uh, see on Liam's bike right here. Yeah, Liam's got all the latest and greatest. He does. Um, it's right there. Yep. Some minor changes to it, nothing radically different, but uh, a little bit of a different redesign and some, uh, I don't know, some fancy little 
some fancy little changes. If you're curious, send us a question. Uh, we answer mountain bike questions all day. If you want to know the intricate little differences between the prior Wolf Tooth remotes that were fantastic and the new Wolf Tooth remote pros, yes, we'll answer that. And we also have an article on this remote uh, on the website. So. We will be sure to link that in the video description below as well. Uh, the next product, man. This product has been in these monthly trending products videos more than any other product in history. Uh, it's also made multiple appearances in the best products of the year in 2021 and two. I already know what uh, you're talking about. Yeah, the DT Swiss 54 tooth ratchet kit. kit. Great kit. So Oof. if you've got a DT Swiss hub, there's actually a lot of other hubs this fits as well. A lot of the Bontrager and Specialized hubs are actually just DT Swiss hubs rebranded. So a lot of those hubs came with an 18 or a, is it 36? Yeah, 1836. 18 or a 36 tooth engagement point hub with the ratchet poles in there. And if you get this kit, which is just over a hundred bucks, you now go with dramatically more engagement points, which makes a huge difference because that dead zone, when you're pedaling and there's that sort of dead zone before the hub engages, um, you can reduce that with more engagement points. 54 is, to me, like the minimum you can have. Below that, you can notice that dead zone. At 54, you don't really notice it. Um, anything above that, it's just on, like yeah. an Industry 9 hub, for example. Yeah. But so many people have got these DT Swiss hubs uh, or various other DT Swiss differently branded hubs and have gotten this kit and realized, wow, this is an amazing upgrade for my hub and there's way less dead zone before the thing engages. So, yeah, I don't know. Definitely any, an, any other words? Yeah, it's an engaging product, that's for sure. <laughs> you know what else is engaging, Jeff? Is the top bikes that we've sold this month. It is extremely exciting. It's extremely exciting. <laughs> Uh, some of the top bikes are the Crestline e-bike, which is the RS50-75 or the RS75-50, just has to do with the wheel size. Rear shock. Uh, oh yeah, travel. Rear shock, rear shock, travel. Link, travel. These model names in the bike industry. <laughs> Not as bad as the standards, <laughs> but they are confusing. They are confusing. Uh, if you haven't heard about Crestline, it's a super interesting mountain bike brand. Uh, that's worth checking out. So anyways, we'll link it below in the description or just Google it up. You know how to do that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, Forrestal Sirion, we made a video that's a lightweight e-mountain bike, which is fantastic. And the Yeti SB120. That's right. Once again, it's oh. the one right behind us, uh, which this current, this exact one belongs to Liam, which again, I crashed into Jared. Oh, <laughs> Those are some popular bikes this year. Yeah. Or this month, I meant. That's right. This month. Some popular bikes this month, which is pretty cool to see a couple e-bikes. Interesting. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Other interesting things that we wanted to mention, uh, we just got a new Worldwide Cyclery jersey. Check it out. Well, more of them. More they of them. sold out. They very, did sell very out. Very quickly. Yeah, uh, you the rock floor. that all the time. And well, I mean, I look, look great. You look it, awesome in that. Obviously, um, that's why I wear it all you the know, time. It's like, it's, it's loud, but it's not too loud, and it's, yeah. you know, just good looking. It says, I, yes, have a loud jersey on, but I also know how to have a good time and I have good taste. Mm -hmm. So. But I don't look like a total goofball. Yeah, don't yeah. look like a total goofball. And uh, obviously you have street cred because it says Worldwide Cycler on yeah. it. Yeah. And then we have this one, our classic. A little more classy. A little more classic. A little more you know. racy, a little subtle. A little racy, so yeah. like, you know, vintage almost, you know, a classic look if you will. By the way, I just wanted to mention, yeah. I recently went on a vacation, non-mountain bike related, um, and a few people recognized me whilst on the vacation and came up to me and said hi, and said they were big Worldwide Cyclery fans and purchasers, and I just wanna say thank you to all of you who ever buy anything from us. We genuinely appreciate it. We're trying to run a business that does really good by the customer and does good things in the mountain bike space, so. Thanks for saying hi and thanks for shopping with us. Whether you said hi to me or you just in any one of you watching. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank and you. If, and if you see us, uh, we're not A-list celebrities. You can just come up and like <laughs> chat us up. Like we're not. <laughs> there it is. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Uh, yeah, that's right. Once we that's go right. Hollywood, I mean, you'll you can still come up. Once we go out. Hollywood, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you got to talk to our assistant. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh. Okay, other quick things to mention. Uh, these are rad. We worked with OCAM. They made a custom WC branded strap that has a bow on it, which is a fantastic way to store things on your bike, such as tube, toolkit, other things like that. We also have a whole video about the best way to carry your, what do you? What do we call those things? Uh, your riding your spares, essentials. Your riding essentials, such yes. as a tube, CO2, uh, you know, bacon strip kit, things like that. Bacon um, strips. Bacon is good for me. Yeah, this is like the cleanest, classiest, yeah. coolest way to do it. So. Stay classy. So yeah. check out check out OCAM if you don't want the WC logo because 
you a hater, then they make it in just regular unbranded ones too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like real hate, man, that's like an art form, man. You know, it's like, you like a born a hater. Quick mention. Really cool. Uh, by the way, if, if you've watched this far in the video, you probably know we own the apparel brand called Kettle Mountain. Uh, we make a, some mountain bike pieces and a bunch of outdoor and travel and sort of lifestyle pieces. Uh, recently, crazy story, uh, we noticed that all of the photos from the Blink-182 concert at Coachella, there's some kettle tomfoolery pants, and it turns out that the singer it wears and buys tomfoolery pants and bought them from us at full retail and wore them at Coachella. And you can see that now. Uh, that was an interesting surprise for this Tuesday. Pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> kind of feel like we made it. <laughs> kind of feel like we made it. You know, Since, you know his shirt is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven for sure paid for him to wear that. I mean, maybe not for sure. Maybe, maybe not. Highly likely, and yeah. he paid us to wear those pants. So. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, it's Blink-182. Most people know that band, at least but not last. Our worst products that we've purchased yeah, this per month. Our personal worst purchases, which we're including at the end of these videos Yeah. Um, Go ahead with well, yours. Well, it's not a mountain bike related product, but uh, it was a balaclava, which I've mispronounced baklava, like the dessert, uh, at least a couple dozen times by They're now. interchangeable. They are interchangeable. So yeah, I got this baklava that didn't really fit very well. Um, <laughs> and they claimed it was one <laughs> size. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know. Balaclava that. It said uh, they claimed one size fits most and it didn't fit even close. I mean, maybe we'll try and get a shot of that for you on the screen because it is pretty embarrassing. Jeff. So here's my worst purchase. I didn't even know I made this purchase for nearly a year. So about a year ago, Jared himself, yes, this, this Jared, yeah. uh, he decided to do a triathlon. Yeah. And so he needed a triathlon wetsuit. Tri uh, so, so he orders it from one of our distributors. It doesn't fit. He claimed he returned it. He's still sticking to that story. Yeah, I did, yeah. He's still sticking to the story <laughs> that, he, to that the story. he returned it to our distributor. Got lost in the paperwork. Uh-huh, got lost in the paperwork. I anyways, this was now recently found as an inventory error, uh, wondering why we have this. Actually got accidentally posted on our website and then we realized there was some error. And I was like, why do we? Ha why on earth do we have this? This doesn't make any sense why we have this. Um, we go back, we look at it. Uh, it is a product from our distributor, a Garneau Sprint Tri-Suit. Oh, I believe it's um, pronounced Garneau. Garneau, uh, with uh, uh, employee purchase Jared Erickson right on it. Mm. Uh, yeah, inventory error. And I, I call it my worst purchase because now this, this literally this, unsellable, discontinued, non-returnable mm. tri-wetsuit that this guy ordered is mm. now a worldwide cyclery inventory asset, depreciating quickly, if not already zero dollars. And if you are looking for a tri-bib and you're doing a triathlon soon, uh, and you are a size large? Well, why didn't it fit you? Because I probably got a bigger one or a smaller yeah. one. So if you're a little bit smaller than me, if you actually need a triathlon wetsuit in size large, uh, let us know, and I'll send this to you for free. You can swim and run and bike in it. I'll pay you five dollars to take. <laughs> well, technically, with the shipping cost, I guess you would pay to give it to them. <laughs> this is free. If somebody messages us and says they actually are going to use that, I just don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, that's really nice of you. Anyways, that's going to turn uh, your worst purchase of the month to the best one because you just did a good deed for someone. I, oh yeah, right. Like anybody wants this watching, you'll this see mountain bike channel. You're going to get right inundated now. with requests for that. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. We genuinely appreciate it. Uh, that's this installment of trending products for April of 2023. And thank you very much, mountain bikers. Share this with your mountain bike friends. Uh, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. See you next time. See you in the next one. Cheerio.